Hey and welcome, Kimberly Castleberry here with JustAskKim.com and today I want to introduce you to a really fast and simple way to add the social media connect with me type buttons to your WordPress blog. Now prior I've shown you how to add these buttons using code, how um, not actual code but using the HTML to put the images in your text widget. I still believe that that is going to be a really great way for most people to accomplish this. I'm not always a fan of of adding more plugins when we don't need to. However, this plugin, this little plugin is so stable and well supported and so easy to get set up that I know that this is going to be a necessary alternative for a lot of people. It's got a great track record and you're going to be real happy with this plugin. So what you'll do, the plugin is called Social Media Widget and you can see that it gives us a variety of graphic types and styling. So we're really quickly going to put this on a blog we're going to come to plugins, add new, and we're here and we're going to go search social media widget and we're going to click search and we're going to click install now and here it's going to install and we're going to activate real quick now because it's a widget it does not have your usual settings here we're going to go into appearance widgets and we're going to go, you're going to take it from this available widgets box and you're going to drag it up into your sidebar and in your sidebar you're going to open it up and it's a very large window and you're going to scroll down and you're going to see that you can put any title on it you want so we're, we're going to leave the follow us there we have the standard place to add additional text this is really useful and then we have places to fill in our social media profiles and URLs and there's a ton of stuff here including boxes to put additional URLs really really versatile little plugin for a variety of sites and you can select whether you want the links to no follow I do that as yes whether you want them to open in a new tab yes whether you want them to left, center, or right align. I tend to like center, but depending on your layout, you may want left align. Um, we have additional options for the type of animation, if any, and the icon pack, which is those graphics that we saw, as well as what size we want them at. So you have this, fill in you know, your Facebook URL, your Google Plus URL, your Twitter URL. I'd probably also put your feed URL in there. You might also put in sites like StumbleUpon. Oops, here's your feed URL. Put StumbleUpon in there. And really, what you're going to do is you're going to pick a balance of how many of these you can put in based on your sidebar width before it starts to look clunky. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to click Save down here at the bottom of the widget and we're going to go to the front end of our site. Now this is just a little test site that I have. You can see it's a standard um, 2011 theme. Nothing fancy going on here in the sidebar. Let me restart this or refresh it. And here I have the follow us and I have the five icons I've selected. You can see that the fifth has rolled under the fourth because this theme has a very, very narrow sidebar. On this theme, I would probably want to use either four or eight to make two full rows. Okay, you can see how it looks kind of funny. Although if I want to draw the eye to it, I might use four and three so that the lower row centered at a staggered situation under the first. This four and one doesn't look too great, but it's still really simple. And you can see you click the links and you come right out and instantly you're on the sites connected and that's all it takes. So like I said, in the prior, in a prior video, I mentioned how to do this with code. However, this widget gives you a real great and fast way to get it going if your theme doesn't already have this utility built in. Some themes have a widget just like this built in, but many do not. And so this plugin being very well supported and pretty lightweight is definitely something to look at. Keep an eye on it over time so that you know you make sure that it stays compatible up to your current version of WordPress. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tip. Again, a great way to add social media widgets to your WordPress blog. Take care and I'll see you in the questions.